Let's factor the polynomial completely. If the polynomial is prime, say so. Here our polynomial is 8k to the third plus 64. Let's begin by factoring out a greatest common factor. We see that each of these terms has a factor of 8. So let's factor that out to the front. 8 times k to the third is 8k to the third. And 8 times 8 is 64. Now let's see if we can continue factoring. Don't stop there. As we look at our uh, factor that's in parentheses, we see that it's the sum of two terms. Let's determine if those terms are perfect cubes. k to the third is indeed a perfect cubed value. And this 8 is a perfect cube as well. It is 2 to the third, or 2 cubed. So what we have here is a special form, a sum of cubes. Sum of cubes follows the factoring format of a to the third plus b to the third factors as a plus b times a squared, here comes our minus sign, minus ab plus b squared. So we'll use that factoring pattern to continue factoring here with k substituted into our value of a in the formula and we'll substitute 2 in for b. Here we go. Don't lose your 8 out in the front. We'll have a plus b or k plus 2 in our polynomial times the quantity in place of a we'll put k so we'll have k squared the minus sign minus the product of k times 2 let's write that as 2k plus that last term 2 squared let's take one more step clean this up a little bit by squaring that 2 so this becomes 8 times k plus 2 times a k squared minus 2k plus 4. We can check by multiplying back, ensuring that we get the original polynomial. I think you'll find that we will indeed get that, and that we do have the completely factored form of 8k to the third plus 64. It is 8 times k plus 2 times k squared minus 2k plus 4.